Today's video is one of those random ideas that I had recently where I was like, oh, I could probably try to film this and put it on the internet, you know? But I thought it might be fun to show you a collection of thrifting fails that have happened to me. This is something that's, you know, just part of going thrifting. Sometimes you can't get in the fitting room, like right now during the pandemic, sometimes you go thrifting online. It's hard to see, even if you do measurements and you follow size charts and you follow it to the letter, it sometimes can backfire in your face. So I thought it would be fun to show you like some of my more recent thrift fails or things that have I guess probably in the last few months or year some of these things have been sitting around forever I've had some way worse ones before that have like gotten donated or sold and I wish I had like held on to those but this is what I have for you I think I have like probably 10 or so items and I'm just gonna like try them on and we're just gonna have a laugh together I'm gonna show you that it's not all sunshine and rainbows I feel like I used to kind of only want to show the things that did work out because like what's the point of showing it if it doesn't. But I think that just shows the reality of thrifting. Like that makes it that much more realistic. So let's uh let's jump into some fails. Let's have some fun. All right, the first thing I'm gonna share is some shoes because I genuinely find this pretty funny. <laughs> and for two different reasons, because they were two different orders. So starting with this first pair. I did a video back over last summer where I tested out this brand that is popular for selling bundles of clothing, like mystery thrift boxes of clothing that's like about to go to the landfill. And I've had some iffy experiences with it. And in one of the videos, I talked about the fact that I ordered some shoes and they never arrived. I spent a lot of money on an order of shoes that was gonna be like a mystery box and they never arrived. So I reached out and then they sent me another one and this is what I got. I ordered, like I think it was called Mules and Clogs if I'm not mistaken, cause it was like, oh, that'd be like a cute little throwback 90s moment. So this is the first pair I got. Listen, this might be perfectly your style and I'm not here to shame your style. Oh, there's dog hair on it. That's, that's from me. These are by Shelly's London. They are a nice, I wouldn't call these mules or clogs, but kind of like Keds style slip on pair of shoes. And the worst part about this is not that they're like the ugliest shoes in the entire world, cause they're fine. Would I wear these? No, absolutely not. But that's just cause they're not my personal style. But the worst part about it is that these are used shoes. So they're pre-owned thrifted shoes. And I paid, I want to say like $60. <laughs> Wait, I want to say the mystery box of shoes was like $60. So $30 each? It's just like, are you joking? I don't know what I was thinking ordering a mystery box of shoes. So yeah, this is the first. Yeah, see, they want to go in the trash. I'm kidding. I'm probably just going to end up donating these. And then the other pair that I got is these. They're not that bad. It's by the brand called Earth. They seem in pretty good condition. I mean, they've definitely been worn, but they do also just feel very like 2014 to me. I just felt a little bit duped because I was like, I really was out here spending an egregious amount of money on a used mystery box of shoes <laughs> that are ugly. I feel slighted, I'm not gonna lie, but I know that that brand has like since come out and kind of like clapped back at the people who have insulted them and just said, we're not here to be like cute or trendy. We're here to sell clothing that was gonna end up in a landfill. So like I get it, but also I don't get it. I'm kidding, but yeah, these two pairs of shoes, just not my favorite. And then the other pair of shoes I showed in a video, but I wanna show them briefly because I just feel sad. This is a pair of shoes by the brand Unlisted. It's a cute pair of shoes. It was reminding me of kind of like a 90s clueless moment. And this was a case of a Depop seller just completely ripping me off. It was a teenager. I was trying to be nice and be like, yeah, that's a fair price. And then when I got the shoes, I don't know if you're able to see it very well, but they're just, they're kind of crusty. And yes, I will wash my hands after this. They're like peeling up in the front and on the sides, there's like a bunch of dirt underneath them. There's tons of like, scuffs and marks all over the shoes and I just I paid way more than they were worth and they also were advertised as white and they're definitely it's hard to tell unless you're in person but they're like gray so I'm just pretty bummed about that so not the worst thing in the entire world but not my favorite next up we have a pair of jeans and when you look at this pair of jeans you're probably like those aren't bad and they're really not like they're not bad at all the only thing is I thrifted these on Poshmark I want to say they're from H&M and when you look at them they actually look kind of cute like I'm not gonna lie but when you wear them for more than like two seconds seconds, they completely start to like lose the integrity of the fabric. They start sagging off of the butt, like, and not in the cute 
wide leg trendy jeans kind of way in more of like a I have a soggy diaper on kind of way. And also I don't know if you can hear it but you know that sound that stretchy jeans make when you walk around and it's like every time you walk that's what these do as well. They're also just too big like they're just way too big so not to like the super fault of the jeans. They're just not my favorite pair. I can literally like take these off without unbuttoning them, like literally. They were just a fail in my book because they're not perfect for me. But yeah, secondhand fail, kind of sad about it. I want to say though, I paid like $20 for these jeans. So I'll probably end up reselling them and making that back, but just not, not the best fit. Speaking of not the best fit, I got this top. Where's this from? It doesn't say, but I thrifted this like February 2020. I've held on to it because I want to resell it because a lot of people really fell in love with it when I showed it and it's the cutest freaking like satin slip dress style top and I love it but I want to say that it's probably it's advertised as a size large. I just have like a wider bust and this fits me like maybe a small so <laughs> we're just gonna try it just for fun. I don't know how this is gonna go. The last time I don't think I could get it on. Wish me luck here. This fabric has absolutely no give whatsoever. Oh my god, please help. Oh, okay, so ignore my black bra, whatever, we're just gonna go with it. Um, it's not the worst thing in the entire world, but it does feel like I have what I would imagine to be an ace bandage wrapped around my tits at the moment. I don't know if you can see the shape <laughs> that they've taken, but it's not what I would ideally like to look like. I'm so disappointed though, because this is such a cute freaking shirt. Like this is so adorable and I wanted it to work so bad. But yeah, I just have like a wider bust. So it's a, it's a bust <laughs> for me. Okay. It's time to go. Let's just really go for it, honestly, like full send. This is a pair of Levi shorts. I wanna say I got these on like ThredUp, Poshmark, something like that. But as you may know, the saga with Levi's continues with me because I did an entire video where I tried on a bunch of different Levi's jeans and like none of the sizing was correct. And I haven't even tried these on yet, but I mean, if they're not gonna fit. I'm just gonna let you see for yourself because it is something, let me tell you. Oh, okay. Yep. So, <laughs> I don't know if you're able to tell on camera how small these are. These are smaller than some of the underwear that I have. This is quite literally my cheek coming out. Um, there's absolutely no way these would button. I'm very perplexed by what their idea of a size 16 is. It's something. I'll tell you that much, it is something. I don't know what, but I don't like it. These have to just simply come off right this very second. <laughs> I can't take one more moment. So going on the other side of the coin, I have this pair of shorts right here, which I think these are from Shein. So, okay. So here we have them. Um, these are probably the weirdest fitting shorts I've ever worn. Like they're just so bizarre. For starters here, it's like okay around the waist. I feel like it's a fair waist fit, if you will, but then you have like a just, it's hard to tell because they're black, but just a like really large amount of space and fabric here in the front. And then you have like the super high cut, but then also it's like my ass is hanging out. So I like the high waisted aspect of them. And I guess because they're black, it's like harder to tell, but I feel like it just bubbles out in certain places. I don't remember how much I paid for these. They weren't very expensive, especially because they were secondhand, but it's just sad because I really wanted these to work out and they just fit so wonky. Like definitely of any shorts I have ever tried, this is the wonkiest proportion and sizing. Speaking of wonky sizing, oh boy, do I have a treat for you. So this is a pair of Lee jeans that I thrifted at my favorite thrift store in Phoenix back in February of 2020. I got this pair at the thrift store. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It said they were a size 16. I was like, perfect. If you don't believe me, it's right here in black and white in case you wanna see it. 16, medium. Super long zipper which means they're very high-waisted I was like oh my gosh I started putting these on I was like wow the legs fit and then this happened this happened right here this is the saddest day of my life you guys have no idea how long and hard I fought to get this zipper to close or this button to close and try to make these work but it's just I don't know what waist size this is for but it ain't mine even the like curvy pairs of jeans that I've tried on before that have like a slightly more snatched waist they pale in comparison to just how tight this like it's not even one of those things where it's like oh you button and it doesn't feel comfortable it's like physically impossible I would have to 
sever organs. So this would probably be, besides the shorts, like the biggest thrift fail of all. I keep trying to thrift like vintage things and vintage brands and a lot of the time they just don't accommodate for like bellies or not super tiny waists, which is fine, but it's just it's not for me. These are not for me. Can somebody please let me know if there is any possible way in the world for me to fix this? I don't know, could I add more fabric in the back or something? It does sort of look like they've been altered, but I don't know if that's just the style. I was like, is there a way that I can make this wearable? Because they fit everywhere else, but just not here. I'm sad. Okay, listen, I just had to put this on. Like, I'm not even going to give it an introduction. This dress <laughs> is very sadly not it. I previously purchased this, I think I wanna say it was on Thread Up, and I really love this dress. I had a vision of Hawaii when I bought it, but I don't love the way it makes me feel. I think I was trying very hard to feel comfortable in something that I didn't, and I've really kind of learned recently that you don't have to wear things that don't make you feel comfortable, just because you think you should, or like it's just something you need to get over. And something that I've kind of learned and leaned into a lot more with body neutrality as opposed to body positivity is that body neutrality is kind of just being whatever about your body and it's neither good nor bad it just kind of is I'm just learning to find ways to take that sort of like feeling of insecurity or feeling of uncomfortability out of the situation entirely so if that means like wearing something a bit looser or avoiding certain things that I just don't feel a hundred percent myself in that's totally cool so I'm not even gonna try to zip this up all the way because honestly like the rest of this dress isn't bad there's nothing wrong with it it's a little tighter in the stomach than I would prefer I think it's from Urban Outfitters it still has the tags on it but I've noticed with brands which I'll get into in a minute that are kind of more geared towards like teens juniors an extra large is very different than like a woman's extra large so yeah I mean ignore my bra hanging out and the zipper being open and it being a hot mess but I'm not even gonna try to zip this because the thing that would be the most uncomfortable for me is the chest and speaking of extra larges that didn't end up working out do I have a surprise for you this dress is originally from Zara I want to say I got this on Poshmark and I got this because every time Drew and I used to go to Zara back when we used to go to the mall like all the time This was like a few years ago every time I was at Zara They never had extra larges in the store at least that's the store that I went to and so I saw this one online And I was like, oh my god, they carry an extra large. They carry my size I want to try on this adorable red dress from Zara Just wait. Oh my god. I really don't want it to break. Ugh. Okay. So again, looking at it and you know, ignoring my bra, it's not like the worst thing. You look at it and you're like, oh, that's kind of cute. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have to censor that because my ass is hanging out, like my whole ass. It's really, really tight again around the chest. It's like so completely flattening and it's just so uncomfortable and I'm so sad about it. You can wear whatever style or whatever makes you feel comfortable, but if you feel like physically like discomfort, probably not the best thing, you know? And for this, like putting this on is not fun. It's not a good time. I'm not enjoying myself. These poor little buttons are about to bust off. I really don't want to break this. And I really love like the puff sleeve up here at the top fits great. It's just so, so tight right here. A little bit tight in the stomach, but I could totally deal with that. And then like so short. So those are my fails. Sometimes it happens, whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you wanna see more of these videos in the future because I'm sure there will be more of that now that I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable going thrifting again and I'm always online thrifting, always. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. You know what was not a thrift fail though was this freaking shirt that was pajamas that I am wearing as a regular shirt. Gotta love it.